first for the first whole forty minutes of the first part, it was everybody versus Cage. And it seems to me that when Natalie came out there, this would have been everybody's chance to tell Natalie what they felt about her. Annie, Lexi, Amber, I don't give a fuck if you're pregnant, bitch, your mouth ain't pregnant, you can talk. You can talk, bitch, your mouth ain't pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It would have been your time to tell her how you felt. Now, if y'all, if, 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 if the consensus was, and Kendra too, but if the consensus was, that, oh, I don't want to start no drama, I don't want to be about no drama, blah, 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 that's fine, but you could have still been real with it, because Perez Hilton, individually, looked at you two, Annie and Amber, she, he looked at Annie and Amber, and he was like, what, uh, what do y'all not like about um, Natalie, what didn't y'all like about Natalie, what was up with Natalie, and, and they both said the same bullshit answer, Natalie was annoying at first, but we were kind of cool with her at the end, Wow, really? I guess y'all are some scary cat bitches. I thought y'all were just scared of Flo, but clearly you're scared of Natalie too. Clearly you're scared of Miss Natalie too. Because it seems to me, if I was on there and had the bitch punch me in my face in Santa Barbara and she got sent home because of it, when the reunion came around that bitch walked up on stage she would have been on and popping. But y'all gotta sit there and be like, now I know, once again, I will say this again, but a smart ass is just going to point it out. I know Amber was pregnant. Boo fucking who. That didn't mean that she couldn't say what the fuck she wanted to say. That didn't mean she couldn't say what the fuck she wanted to say. I know many pregnant bitches that kept it motherfucking real. And because they were pregnant, they were more irate. But whatever. Annie, you a fake bitch too. And I'm glad that um, Perez called you, called a spade a spade and said you were full of shit. You were full of shit. And I lost respect for Annie. Boo, I didn't really have that much respect for her. But it's all gone now. It's all gone. <sighs> Kendra. Wow. Um. I, I don't want to say that her outfit was hideous. But I just want to say I didn't know what the fuck she was going with it. Where the fuck she was going with this this outfit, what she was doing with this with this outfit, what what theme was she going at? I'm not being a hater. I'm not being a hater because had she came out there looking straight up fierce and straight up sexy, I would be like, oh hell yeah, bitch, work it, bitch. But even though I don't like your ass, work it. But it, the, it looked like she was going to church to fuck the pastor. And I'm not trying to be crude, but it looked like a slutty church outfit. And I don't understand that. I don't understand that. At the top, it had sequins on it, and it was um, and it was just it just and it had the shoulder padding and all that stuff. But then it cut off at her bottom, and it was all short. It just looked like a slutty, just a slutty church outfit. Like she was going to fuck the pastor, or the bishop, or the deacon, or whatever else the episcopal the episcopal person. She was going to fuck that person. But whatever, whatever, what have you. That's the only reason why I give Kate props. I gave Kate props because Kate came out there and kept it real. I don't like you, bitch. Didn't like you. Didn't like you. Didn't like you. I'm not going to come out there. Oh, excuse me. I had to fight over a little bit. I'm not going to come out there and say, oh, I, I didn't have, I, oh, goodness. The reunion just did not do it for me. I really hope that part two is better because this, part one just sucked. It really sucked ass. Really sucked ass and not in a good way. Not in a good way. It sucked shitty ass. Okay, it, it sucked Perez Hilton's ass cheeks. Speaking of Perez Hilton, he really got on my fucking nerves this time. Whereas I liked him on the last reunion, this reunion he pissed me the fuck off because he just was too in your face. Like, my thing is this it's aggressive as I would have came out there after living in a house full with these bitches. As aggressive as I would have came out there, <sighs> ooh, my goodness, Perez, you would have really gotten out the fuck out. Can we say Will I Am Part Two? Wow. Are you gonna Are you gonna tweet call the police again, bitch? Is that what you're gonna do? Perez got my fucking nerves talking all this motherfucking shit like he was some motherfucking body. Perez, you ain't nobody either. 
You know what either. Why was Natalie looking like something straight out of Thriller? The bitch just wasn't cute. The bitch just wasn't cute this... And what the fuck? Was her, did her weave always look like that? Her weave was tore the fuck up. And it, it actually looked better after it got wet. It looked like a hot motherfucking fluffy ass horse weave mess. The point of having weave in your hair is the illusion that it looks real, you bitch. If, what, what are we in the 1990s where you can actually tell that someone has horse weave in their hair? What the fuck? I mean, it was just, it was just puffy, it was poofy, it like there was a fucking shitty ass bird nest in there. Natalie, I'm gonna need you to come better since you're some supposed rich ass socialite. I'm gonna need you to come better. I'm gonna need you to come better. Natalie, you know, Kate, I, I, I was I gave Kate's prop, as quickly as I gave Kate a prop, I took it away. As quickly as I gave it, and I take it the fuck away. Because, bitch, had Natalie spit in my motherfucking face again, had she, no, she would've been dead the first time. She would've been dead the first time. But let's just say she somehow survived and got an ICU for the reunion. Let's say somehow, and some merit, she got a kidney transplant, a spleen transplant, all the fucking transplants she could've gotten after I would've fucked her up the first time she spit in my face. She spit in my face a second time. Bitch, it would have been over. 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 That's all I got to say, bitch. I don't, have, I don't have to make your day. I can make your fucking year. I'll make your fucking year. Not your day. I'll make your fucking year. Don't fucking spit on me. Spitting to me is the most disgusting thing you could do. I'd rather have a bitch punch me in my face than spit on me. I'll fuck you up worse. For spitting on me, then punch me in my face. You'll still get fucked up for punching me in my face, but I will fuck you up worse for spitting on me. And here, Kate. Oh, oh, bitch! Oh. Uh. Uh. Mm. Oh. And okay. So when Miss Flo came out there, when my Flo came out there, I was like, okay, please, Flo, give me what I need. Give me what I need, please, girl. Please, God. Please, Glenda, the good witch. Give me what I fucking need. Give me what I need. And when Miss Flo came up on there, and, and Annie said, I'm scared. Bitch said I was scared. I was like, okay, that's Annie. Annie said she was scared. Whatever. She was only voicing what the other bitches were thinking. They were scared, too. Flo walked up there with her knee-high boots. Some people call them hooker boots. They could be hooker boots on some people, but they look good on her. They look good on her. She came out there. She looked good in her outfit. She came out there. She sat down and was like, off my crutches, anybody say something smart to me, I'm fucking you up. I was like, yes! Yes! Give me what I need! Give me what I need for this reunion! Give me what I need! No, bitch, I don't like any of you bitches. Say something smart to me, I'm fucking you up! That's why I wanted, that's, I was like, Flo, yes, where have you been, baby? Where have you been? Missed you, Flo. I missed you. I missed you. And all them bitches were scared, especially Kendra. Especially Kendra. Had, she was sitting there doing this. She was sitting there doing that. Running her soup coolers. Running her, running her soup coolers. Running her soup coolers before Flo came out there. So also Flo was two-faced. When Flo sat her ass down and told Kendra she would break her motherfucking jaw. Kendra didn't say shit. I was just looking at you. Bitch, that's because you know your place. I act like a bad bitch and know your place, which is being the sidekick hole on the side. Bitch. Scared ass bitch. All them bitches were scared. Y'all can say whatever y'all want about Flo. Because I know a lot of people say Flo was two-faced. So Flo was flip-floppy. Flo was this. Flo was that. Say what you want about Flo. But one thing you cannot deny is that every one of those bitches on that stage was scared of her. Because they were hushed motherfucking mouth. Flo was calling them ignorant, stupid-ass hoes. Stupid, uh, childish bitches. She would say all this shit and they didn't say nothing. They didn't say nothing. And don't, when he, and don't nobody dare say, oh, they were just trying to be mature and Flo was being immature. Because, because before Flo came out there and everybody was against Kate, everybody had shit to say. Everybody was talking shit. But, Flo gave what I mean. Now, when she attacked Miss Natalie, when she attacked Natalie, it wasn't, it didn't, it didn't really feel my spirit because I wanted a little bit more. I wanted to see a little bit more Molly Whopping. I wanted to see more Molly Whopping. I, there was a lot of grabbing and pulling. 
And if you look closely, Flo did hit her head twice. She didn't just mush her. She did, like, get a punch or two in there. You got to watch it closely. I watched it over and over on my DVR. Um, but Flo gave me what I need, and I can't wait to see part two. So, anyway, that was my recap for part one. Can't wait to see part two. See what happens. Like, Flo and Miss Perez get into it. I can't wait to see that shit either, because he deserves it. Why was it... Okay, one last note. It needed to stop showing Marcus's ugly ass. And show a little bit more Paul. Give Paul the airtime. Give Paul the airtime because at least Paul is better looking. And with that, I have to say good night. <laughs>